Thanks for staying with us this morning here on 10 Tampa Bay. We are continuing to follow breaking news out of Tampa. We've been following this all morning now. A massive police presence at the Holiday Inn just off Fowler Avenue. This is all near USF. We are just now getting the latest details about what happened there overnight. Tampa police giving us an update. Let's get right out live to 10 Tampa Bay's Nick Valtoro for the latest from that public information officer. Nick, what can you tell us? And Jenny, good morning. And what we know is that there were four people shot. One person was killed. It happened right here in the parking lot of the Holiday Inn. It's just right across the street from the University of South Florida campus. I'm here with Janae Lewis, public information officer from the Tampa Police Department for just tell us a little bit right now about where this investigation stands. Sure. So, I mean, you can see officers are still here. There are a lot of officers at this point. We are reviewing video that's available. We're trying to interview people that were out here to figure out exactly what led up to that shooting and the cars being shot at here in this parking lot. And it all happened right here in this parking lot outside, not inside the hotel. That's correct. Not inside. At this point, again, it's early in the investigation, but it appears that as the car was pulling into the lot here, they were shot at. So there were there were four people involved in the shooting. Three people, uh, three people are in the hospital right now as things stand. One person deceased. Yes. So at this point, three people are in the hospital. We're working to get the best update on their condition. One person was pronounced deceased. And for the hotel guests here, how is that working out for them? Have they had to be evacuated? What's what's the situation here for guests staying at the hotel? As far as my understanding, that hasn't happened, but we do have officers here. Understandably, people have questions about what's going on, where they can go. So our officers are here taking them and escorting them wherever they need to go, whether that's people needing to get in to check in, people needing to check out, or just wanting to know what's going on. Again, it's isolated to this parking lot area. Did not happen inside of the hotel, but we're working to just make sure guests are informed. And forensic units have been here. There's a huge police presence here. How can the people help? The biggest thing, you know, we say it all the time, but it's really true. If you see something, say something. So if you were out here, if you were in the area, if you were driving, if you heard something, please let us know any little piece of detail. If you took any pictures or have any video or heard people talking or exchanging words, all of that is critical to helping us identify and locate the person responsible for this incident this morning. Because you're still looking for more people that were responsible or involved in this incident. That is correct. We are reviewing the video with hopes of getting a suspect description and finding out who is responsible. And as far as the people in the hospital, do we know what their condition is? We're working to get an update. The last update that I had is that they are expected to survive their injuries, but hopefully soon I'll have a better update on their condition. That's what we know right now. As you can see, there's still a strong police presence outside of the holiday. And like we said, this is right across from the University of South Florida campus. We're going to bring you the latest details as we learn them for, for now reporting live in Tampa Nick Volturo Ted Tampa Bay. All right, Nick, thank you so much. So just a review for you. We're covering breaking news now out of Tampa uh, at the uh, hotel parking lot. It's at a Holiday Inn right there on Fowler and McKinley. This is in the USF area. Very large police presence there since early this morning due to uh, what police say was a shooting in the parking lot of that hotel. Four people were hit. Three people were sent to hospitals. One person died. They are looking at surveillance video, working to figure out exactly how all of this happened, who was firing the guns, and to see if they can get a suspect. The three people that are in the hospital, they say, are expected to survive, but they're working to get the most updated condition for you. And they're assisting guests that are waking up at that hotel this morning, wondering what's going on and why there are so many officers there. So this is a story, as Nick mentioned, we are going to continue to follow for you throughout the morning and bring you more information and updates as it becomes available.